So it's been a little while since I stepped into the Wax Universe, but gaming tokens are really, really hot right now. Games in general are growing at an insane rate in blockchain gaming. And one of the things that has really been taken off lately is Wax. The market cap is increasing drastically every day. And there's been a lot of chatter in my community about some of the projects that we've looked at in the past, as well as some of the projects coming up. And one of those price increases is actually on a game that I covered a little while back called Midgard Clash. Today, we're going to be taking a sponsored look at the game again. I've got some testnet stuff to go to show you guys, some privileged info for you today, as well as a character sale that's going to be coming up in the near future. So you can see some of the character art that's going to be coming for the different types of cards. The rarity is generated the same way they were for the weapons. We have the bronze, the silver, the gold, the platinum, and the ownership cards, which if you know, if you've been keeping up with the project at all, you know that these ownership cards actually are going to give whole holders of them dungeons. Now, there's a bunch of different dungeons that you can get as well if you haven't gotten if you haven't been lucky enough to get one of these cards, there are going to be some opportunities to be able to get the dungeons, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's just dive right into the game. So, this is a testnet account right now which is not live because some of the cards naturally are not available. The live version is coming up very very soon though. The character sale is actually on November 3rd, but the game launches on November 10th. So you're going to be able to get these cards, unpack them very, very shortly after and be playing within a week and earn Yggdrasil tokens. So without further ado, let's take a look at the trailer that they have right now to get a little bit of hype going. Then we'll dive into the game and I'll show you how the battles work. So they have a pretty shiny trailer for the game. Get ready to clash. And they're going to show you some of the art for the cards and kind of how the play to earn works. And I'm going to go over this in detail. So. You could use Anchor or Wax Cloud Wallet. Naturally, you choose your weapons that you would have gotten in the sale or individually from the market. You could select up to three of them. You could select up to one character, and here's some of the character art. You see that Odin card? And the Loki card? They got some really, really cool characters. You'll be able to choose 6, 12, or 24 hours to attack for, and at the end of that countdown, you get your payout in the Yggdrasil token, right? So you'll be able to withdraw as soon as you have 3k, but if you hold 5k or 10k, you'll actually have some cooldown bonuses for attacks, which allow you to farm a little bit faster. And of course, the character sale is on November 3rd. The game launch is in November 10th. So let's dive in and do some battles for you. You can select up to three weapons here. You don't need three weapons. So if you only buy one weapon from the Atomic Hub secondary market, right? You can still play the game. It's not a big deal. You'll need one weapon and one character, but you can select up to three to give yourself a little bit more attack power. So let's say that you were lucky enough to get one platinum, one silver, and one bronze, okay? We'll go next here, and then your characters are the same deal. Now, because of the testnet limitations and the fact that we aren't a little, we need still need some time in the oven for this, I have to select bronze here. But we'll get ready here, and I'm using Anchor Wallet. This will be on Wax Cloud a little bit later on, but because it's testnet, I had to do something specific for Anchor, and the team was uh, good enough to actually set me up with a wallet. So here we go. We got six hours, 12 hours, or 24 hours that we can actually set to attack. Now, this is going to be in real time hours that you have to choose from. So when you select your attack and let's say six hours, you'll go to attack. It's going to prompt you to sign the transaction. This is not taking gas fees, but you'll need to have a little bit of CPU staked and then you'll get a countdown. Okay. Now this countdown for me is actually in minutes because it's test net so that we can test and go a little bit faster. We have it set down to minutes. But in the real version of the game, this will be ours. So after this countdown ends, we'll show you guys how the claiming works. So after the countdown finishes up, it shows you the battle ended, the reward, and the Midgard Clash takes 20% commission for improving the game. Now, it, there's no need to do anything specifically. When you come back to the page later on, you don't need to be logged in the whole time. You could log out, log back in later on. As long as the time period has passed, you'll be able to see this. So. If you go to claim here, it'll give you an anchor transaction or a wax cloud wallet transactions. It says token claim successfully, and it goes to the top in your balance right here, right? 
So now you can either choose to do battle again or you can go to reset and go right back to your bag selection where you can start selecting your weapons all over again if you have upgrades or whatever, but no need to do that. You can just repeat the attack. So when you start getting tokens, in order to get them out the system, you need to have at least 3,000. So right now I only have 188 tokens. If I go to withdraw right here, 188 and go to withdraw, it'll ask me, and then it'll give me an error, okay? That means I need at least 3,000 tokens to withdraw. So I happen to have some tokens on the test net, so I'm gonna go ahead and deposit that amount right here, right? So I have 10,000 tokens that they gave me to test with. I'm gonna sign my anchor transaction, and it's gonna go through. Now, I have a 20% reduction in time available, meaning that if I go to battle again, let's let's this time we're gonna select very, very powerful weapons and go next. We'll select Thor again because he's our guy. Go ready and sign the transaction. And it says I'm ready to attack. And we're going to do a six hour again. Six minutes later, we'll pass. And we'll be back to see the result for that send transaction. And you can see here, instead of six whole minutes, it's four minutes and 45 seconds. So that's the 20% reduction that you get from holding that balance of tokens in the game. All right, so our reduced time has gone by and we have claimed 205 tokens instead because we were using the three platinum weapons. So you can see that the amounts are drastically different based on the weapons that you choose and the characters, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and claim that and it's going to give us our tokens at the top right and you'll see now that we have the token bonus. Now, if I were to withdraw, because I have over 3,000, if I were to withdraw 5,000 of these tokens, I won't have 10,000 tokens anymore, right? So that reduction of time is actually reduced to 10%. But you don't need to have 10,000 to get some reduction. You can get 5,000 to have a partial reduction. That way you can still cash out and do things with your tokens on the market. But that's essentially how the game is played and how that goes. Now, Let's talk about upgrades. So you'll be able to upgrade weapons and characters. Combine four of the same rarity cards into an upgraded card of the same character or weapon, except for ownership. To get an ownership character, combine three platinum characters and one platinum weapon of the character. So if you were to say, want to get all the way from common to the ownership card of each, you would need to combine four bronze to get silver, four silver to get gold, four gold to get platinum, and three platinum plus one weapon from the actual character. And if you take a look at the weapons, it shows you what characters belong to which weapons or vice versa. Mjolnir, for instance, is for Thor, but Gunganir is actually for Odin. So if you wanted an ownership card for Odin, you would have to combine three platinum Odin cards as well as a platinum Gungnir to get that specific ownership card. Naturally, there's one character to accompany every one of the weapons that we just looked at. Thor, of course, Odin, which we just talked about, in addition to Heimdall, which is the protector of Bifrost, Frith, the son of the legendary Thorstein, and Loki, of course, the god of mischief. So you've probably seen a few of these in some of the more popular movies. They're very mainstream characters in the Nordic mythology, and the art looks great on them. So if you've been following their Twitter or their Discord lately, you know that they've actually announced the rewards that these ownership cards are going to get and their distribution for dungeons. So if you have an ownership card at the time that this drop happens, you'll get a dungeon. If you have more, you'll get more as well. So there's only 50 ownership cards for weapons and there's gonna be 50 ownership cards for characters. Those are all that will ever be minted and there's a hundred dungeons that are gonna be distributed to the owners of those cards at that time. There's also another couple hundred that are gonna be available to split between marketing like giveaways and promotions and things like that as well as a sale that's going to be available later on for a hundred so if you want to own a dungeon you'll be able to buy one later now this is going to be equivalent to something like 
Alien Worlds lands back in the day. You're going to be able to generate some income based on owning one of these things and people actually raiding your dungeons and things of that nature. So there's some cool income up opportunities that are going to be available from that. I'm going to try to get my hands on some of these dungeons as well because I think it's going to be very, very lucrative. So the character sale is going to run a little bit differently than the weapon sale. The weapon sale was unlimited for 24 hours. The character sale, however, is only going to be available for a maximum of two days and has a hard cap limit of each crate for 5,000. So after these 10,000 crates sell out or after the two day time limit is up, you'll no longer be able to get them anywhere else but secondary market now or giveaways or something like that. So silver chest chances, bronze chest chances, six cards if you get the silver chest, bronze character cards, 50% chance, silver character cards, 30% chance, gold character cards, 15% chance, and platinum cards are only 5%. However, the bronze chest, you only get four cards, and the chance of getting a common or a bronze card is 80%. Silver goes down to 15, gold characters 4%, and platinum characters 1. So you can choose different strategies right here. You could try to do the combinations, which you'll need four of different each different kind of card for, to get the bigger or rarer cards in this. And you can look at the pricing is different too. The price for the silver chest is $39 in US currency, are converted to wax right now it's at 120 wax but this is subject to change because wax changes every day it'll be a hard cap of 39 dollars though for price and the bronze chest of course is going to be nine dollars so this will happen in the 10 days and you'll have the link in the description below for the actual draw so in the meantime if you miss the old sale and you want to start collecting weapons or watching the market to get some good prices in anticipation for the game release you can find them on atomic hub on the midgard clash Again, the game will be released very, very soon on November 10th, and the character sale is coming up on November 3rd, so make sure to set your calendars if you want to get involved, guys. I'm going to leave the links of all their social media as well as their website in the description below, as well as links to my social media and my Discord community where we talk about NFTs and blockchain gaming all day long. I'd love to see you around the community, guys. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljian signing off, and we'll see you next time.